Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you all so much for the love and the continued support of my channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about fragrances that I will not be repurchasing. Now, I feel like none of these are bad scents, okay? I like them. Some of them I even love, but for one reason or another, once they're gone, they will be gone. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this list of scents that I will not be repurchasing. Okay, so the first one on this list is a scent that I think is just, good but for some reason i think that i just want to smell this on a man i don't know <laughs> balder freak by um byredo there is nothing wrong with this scent but for some reason i don't ever want to smell like this I, I just never gravitate towards it is it something overly masculine no um it's a beautiful citrus scent I, I'm not gonna take that away um, from Byredo, but something about the way this vetiver is done, um, I just I just would much prefer to smell this on a man. Very unisex scent, but for some reason I never like gravitate. Like, look at the dent. There is no dent, <laughs> and I've had this for quite some time. Like, I never never wear it. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens this spring and summer. Maybe I'll get some sprays in, but I don't necessarily want to declutter this one. So I can say that once this bottle is used up, then that's it, I won't be repurchasing. But for some reason, we just, you know, I just never pull for it. So again, that is Bal de Freak by Barreto. This next one is also a citrus. I don't know you guys, like I'm so finicky about citruses. <laughs> There are only like one or two that I just really, really absolutely love and want to wear a lot, but most in my collection, they not getting any wears. This one is going to be by Atelier Cologne and this is Lemon City. Can you see that? Hopefully. <laughs> um, this is a small bottle. So Lemon City, it actually, puts me in the mindset of blue turquoise, but there is just like this abundance of like citrus. There is such a bright, like sharpness of lemon <laughs> in this fragrance that I just don't wanna actually smell like this much lemon. Um, just the same as I've smelled, I think, several versions of, what is it, light blue? Is it light blue? <laughs> but don't think about it, I think so. I don't wanna smell like that. Like right now, to me, this is giving me a home scent. I would love for my living room to smell like this, but for some reason, like those really heavy citrus lemons, they can really start to smell like cleaning products, home fragrance. Yeah, like I would love to come home and just smell this wafting around in the air, but for me, on my skin, on my clothes, I really, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I might give this to my daughter. Um, I don't really plan to declutter it, but again, like I never wear this scent. Yeah, Lemon City by Atelier Cologne. What can I say? So far these citruses is, is just striking out. <laughs> All right, you guys, so the next one up on the list is this beautiful benzoin uh, waxy caramel type of scent. And this is Parada Candy, the original. Now, nice scent, but when I wanna wear like caramel, I don't know, I just, I mean, Wea Demi just takes, just takes over, okay? I never wear this. And on top of that, the longevity on this is absolutely 
trash. So once this bottle is gone, I won't be rebuying it. I've actually like this wear, the wares that you're seeing here, it's mostly my daughter. Like she has taken over this one. She likes it, she wears it. But I just, I don't know. It's like when I'm in the, the mood for something caramel, I just want something like rich caramel, a little thicker, a little sweeter, just a little different. Like this is a caramel that you could have as a signature scent. Like you could wear this every day and it really doesn't come across as something like truly um, like gourmand. Not saying that was the intent, but it's a beautiful scent. Can't take that away from it. Beautiful scent, but just one that I really don't, I really don't wear too often. This is beautiful, oh my goodness. But once it's gone, it's gone. Like we gonna get through this bottle, but I won't be repurchasing it. Like if it had better longevity, I think I would, but it doesn't and so I won't. <laughs> okay, so the next one on the list, let me tell you, this scent is absolutely gorgeous. I love Tom Ford's Metalik, but Abracadabra 221 has made me forget all about the girl Metalik because they are very similar. Um, and the performance on the 221 is stellar. It's much better. Not saying this is a poor performer. This has good performance, but the 221 by Abracadabra is better. It is a little bit more floral, more feminine. It's just, it's giving me a little bit more of an it factor. Now, I'm not even sure if I need this on the list, but honestly, seriously, I plan, like 221 will always be repurchased. And because I have that one, I never hardly go for this. Um, yeah, the aldehydes are so addictive and that is what I love most about this, but the same aldehydes are in the 221. And so since that one is just look like a more superior, you know, version, that is the one I go for. This one, I rarely wear it now, even as beautiful as it is, as unique as it is, once this bottle is gone, it will not be repurchased. Not taking away from it, Tom Ford, you did the damn thing. But I'm gonna rock with my 221. Okay, so this next one is from the House of Oud and this is Dates Delight. You guys, Dates Delight is so freaking gorgeous. But I had an epiphany this, this winter. Like I do not go for those spicy, sweet fragrances much as beautiful as um, Angel Share was. I love the fragrance, but I just never want to smell this spicy. Like I'm, like, I'm not a huge spice person, though I love the way it smells. I'm just rarely in the mood for it. And honestly, Minwi Demi just kind of took over that Oh, if I am in the mood for something sweet, caramel, spicy, like that kind of gourmand vibe, I'm pulling for that. Like that one I'm obsessed with. And so this one, this little baby right here, ain't even getting nowhere. It's like this bottle is super full. Like it, it, you can't see the level, but it has not been getting wears as amazing as it is. Like beautiful performance, projection, sillage, the scent, beautiful, but I just never wear it. So I feel like I'm going to make an effort to definitely get some wears in um, when fall and winter come back around. But once this little egg is gone, it's gone. Okay, so the next one on this list is going to be Velvet Orchid and this is by Tom Ford. Now this fragrance is like a what in the world, who in the what in the, it's very unique, okay? very unique, you have to be in a mood for something very different, um, unique, a little dark, ambery. Like this is a gorgeous scent, but when I get in the mood for something like that, I normally pull for the uh, Noir Parfum. It's just a little bit um, more my vibe, a little, like I love the coopy note in there. Like this is beautiful. I think this is much better and much more wearable than a black orchid. But overall, it's just like, this is a one ounce. I wish you could see the level. Can you see the juice level in here? 
like, it's like right here. One ounce bottle and it's still like, I'm not wearing it very often. Gorgeous scent, but I just like this and the Noir Parfum, they're the same vibe, though they're different, it's the same vibe. And when I'm in the mood for that vibe, I go for the Parfum. So, will not be repurchasing, although it is a lovely fragrance. Okay, you guys, so the last one on this list is a Zara fragrance. This is Rose Gourmand. Now, I bought this literally just because I wanted to test out Zara fragrances. And I tell y'all, this is an exact dupe for Roses Vanille or Intense Cafe. So close that I almost feel like Mancera had something to do with it. Like they had something to do with the making of these. Like that is how close this is. Like the, the syntheticness of it, the, it smells like it was made by Montal. Okay. The man himself and gorgeous. Oh my God. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I have the real thing. I have Intense Cafe. <laughs> I have Roses. Why would I need those? and this, and I'm gonna re, like, I'm just gonna, okay? It's too much redundancy, too much redundancy. So once this is gone, I, it probably won't even be available one, by the time this is gone because they change out those Zara's so much. They always have something new coming in. So if you need a dupe for either of those, I highly recommend you get your nose on this one because this thing was like $20, okay? When I tell you the performance is the same, it projects, it's, um, it lasts, and the scent profile is the same. I might need to uh, bring Rose's video over here and say, I'm not gonna buy that, I'm gonna rebuy this. But I feel like this is not gonna be available forever compared to the Rose's Vignette. That's probably, that's like one of their top sellers. It's gonna be around Intense Cafe. That ain't going nowhere. But beautiful, beautiful scent, Rose Gourbon. It will not be repurchased only because it's creating a lot of redundancy in my collection. But do I recommend it if you don't have either of the Montal or the um, Mascara? Yes, highly recommend it. Beautiful, beautiful scent. Okay, you guys, I know that was a short one, but I just don't have that many in my collection that I feel like won't be repurchased. So I guess, I guess it's pretty good. You know, I got over 100 bottles and these are pretty much the only ones I feel like it would just be, you know, not necessary for me to buy new bottles. So I'm absolutely in love with my collection, as you can see. All right, you guys, list in the comments below three fragrances that you feel like once they're done, they're done. Like you may like them, you may dislike them, but either way, they will not be repurchased. I'm curious, so let me know in the comments below. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure the notification bell is turned on. And if you made it this far, honey, give the video a thumbs up. It helps my channel to grow. You guys, thank you for spending a little bit of time with me this weekend. I will see you guys on the next one.